Hi, this is Sridhar. Today I will explain you about how to construct the SQL statement, dynamic SQL statement and use that dynamic SQL statement in while opening the reference cursor or sysref cursor. First we will discuss about the reference cursor. So I am constructing the SQL statement. My SQL statement is I am selecting a particular record from the employees table. This is my SQL statement. Selecting a record from the employees table where job ID is HR underscore rep. There are few records in my employees table. I can show you that few records in my employees table whose job ID is HR underscore rep. So I'm going to list all the employees whose job ID is HR underscore rep. So for that, I'm going to construct the select statement dynamically and using this selected select statement while opening the reference cursor let me execute this i already copied and i removed the commented lines so these are my initialization part my initi initialization or i am opening the reference cursor to open the reference cursor you have to declare the data type type emp ref cursor type is reference cursor if you put simply the ref cursor the, it is a strong it is a weak reference cursor for strong reference cursor of course you have to mention the return data type i am declaring the variable c1 emp curse ref cur type so this is my cursor variable reference cursor variable emp rec is the employees percentage row type since i am going to retrieve all the records from the employees table whose job id is hr underscore rep i am using employees percentage row type initializing the sql statement and job id equals hr underscore rep going to the select statement select star from the employees where job id equals job id equals i am substituting the job id variable here so i will be putting double single course followed by concatenating operator and the job id and closing the variable by putting again the double pi pipeline symbol and closing it with the corresponding single quotes so my sql statement looks like select star from employees where job id equals closing the single quotes and job id hr rep is a character variable it's a varchar2 so i have to put the corresponding closing single quotes four times and printing the sql statement for our reference and now I am going to open the cursor, reference cursor, opening the reference cursor for here generally you will be putting the SQL statement. Instead of putting the writing the SQL statement, I am writing the SQL statement variable. This SQL statement variable will be substituted as this one. Entire line. So I am open the cursor for this SQL statement and this SQL statement job ID is substituted as HR underscore rep and I am going to fetch each and every record the each record will be fetched into EMP underscore rec variable where EMP underscore rep variable is employees percentage row type generally whenever you are writing a loop condition you have to use the exit condition also you have to write the exit condition exit when the cursor is not found and I'm going to print the value. I'm not going to use all the values. I'm going to use only a certain value. So EMP rec under dot first name and last name and salary. All these three values will be printed for the job ID is HR underscore rep. Closing the loop, closing the cursor and end. Let me execute. It's completed. There is only one employee whose job ID is HR underscore rep. If you want, I can execute it separately. There is only one employee whose job ID is HR underscore rep. rep. Uh, let me execute some other since we have used loop IT prog. IT prog, you are having multiple values. 
let me substitute it as it prog and clearing the output running it it's completed dbms output is select staff employees where a job id is it prog these are my output values you can format it by putting some space here and similarly you can execute the same sql statement by passing the bind argument also let me put the bind argument if you want to put the bind argument you have to replace the select statement by sql statement equals select star from employees where job id equals simply putting the colon one colon one is my bind argument so if you are putting colon one as a bind argument definitely you have to use using class using using job underscore id job underscore id is the it prog so you have to use the using class nothing else to be replaced let me execute clearing the output completed so you are getting the result and this one is for we are using the reference cursor we can also use sysref cursor sysref cursor is also a, an extension of weak reference cursor only the declaration part will refer the declaration part is c1 and you can use sys underscore ref cursor this is the declaration part you can also use sysref cursor for executing this dynamic SQL statement. Anything to be changed here? Nothing. It will execute for this one also. Constructing the SQL statement by passing the bind argument, select staff employees where job ID equals colon one and substituting the bind argument for the with the corresponding placeholder value. Placeholder value is job ID. Only we have changed the declaration part from reference cursor to sysref cursor let me execute it's completed got the result so in this way you can use both sysref cursor and reference cursor and we can pause the dynamically constructed sql statement into the reference cursor and sysref cursor that's all about this session. Thanks for watching.